Hey guys, want to do a uh, little video here. Uh, there's not much on YouTube on uh, compound setups for these trucks. So I thought I'd put a little video together here and show you guys what it looks like under the hood. Uh, maybe a little bit of how it runs. And uh, yeah, just to show you what we did here. So we'll start with under the hood. So I went with Illusion Root Beer. Um, this is a S475 overstock. The complete kit is from MPD, the intake and the uh, compound setup. The extra things we did was the turbo blanket and I had all the pipes wrapped. That is not part of the kit. Uh, we also did the coolant pipe, which in my opinion is well worth it just for the extra color and to prevent your pipes from rubbing to keep the powder coating nice on the piping uh, if I had to complain about one piece on this kit it's the Y pipe and it's where it rubs right there I don't know if you can see that um, boost pressure coming out of the intercooler here will push that pipe up against and it's just rubbing right there so that's my one complaint everything else fitment is awesome the kit was very easy to put together um, yeah it was just a took a lot of time there was no instructions I guess that would be another complaint um, this is all just kind of fitting it together and seeing what pipes go where it's pretty straightforward for the most part so just took us I think it was like 12 hours the other thing I would highly recommend is I don't know if you can see it underneath here the oil drain for the turbo goes into the lower oil pan and I would recommend just getting a brand new OEM pan putting the bung in it and then uh, putting the pan on the truck so you don't have metal shavings inside the pan a new pan from Ford's like I think they're like 50 bucks so not too bad but yeah that's where we're at here um, some of you guys have seen my Cummins on YouTube um, so I decided to do the piping the same color as my Cummins which is actually just sitting right in here so all right I'm gonna take this thing down the road and give you guys a little sound so here we are riding around in the truck a little bit. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about the oil uh, drain line there, MPD does have the option to just buy a billet pan. I didn't do that because I didn't feel like spending $450 for an oil pan. So that's why we just welded a bung in a stock oil pan and made it work that way. Um, so yeah, this is a 2017 F250 Platinum um, running a CTS3 for my gauge display uh, have line pressure or I mean uh, rail pressure command and supplied uh, exhaust temps we did run an uh, EAS EGT probe with it uh, have trans temp engine oil temp coolant temp and boost pressure which I am going to eventually put a, a um, EAS pressure sensor on it for that because your stock MAF sensor cannot read past, I think it's like 40 PSI. So it can smack that pretty quick. And so I just have no idea at this point how much boost this is actually pushing. Um, we're guessing somewhere around 50 PSI and I'm running tuning through Chaos, which by the way, I've never experienced their tuning before doing this setup, but they knocked it out of the park the first try with this tune. Uh, just runs phenomenal. Um, the tuning, I'm running a BDX, it's a SCT BDX tuner, and I'm running on tune three right now. I did order the switch on the fly setup that is not here yet so right now we're on tune three 
uh, gonna be pulling them out in here I'm kind of started up it right now just to show you guys a little bit how it runs also gonna have a towing video in here it's gonna be quite a long video but you can jump around and watch whatever you want to see with this um, towing it it pulls unbelievable up a mountain uh, exhaust temps I mean are lucky to hit a thousand degrees so that's a huge huge thing right there uh, all my coolant temps oil temps run way cooler than before uh, also everybody's asking me about fuel mileage I would say at this point I got about a thousand miles on the setup and I'm running probably about two mile a gallon better if I had to guess uh, just seems to to really do better on fuel so time will tell on that as we uh, get some more miles on it here so I'll uh, shut up here for a little bit and let you guys hear what it sounds like all the windows are up I might might put the window down part way up the mountain just so you can really hear it but um, there is absolutely no problem hearing this thing inside the cab and the exhaust bake really makes it sound cool too so all right I'll shut up here and let you guys hear it just snapped 43 pounds of boost but that's all she showed so that gives you guys a little bit of an idea uh, how it runs it is non-stop whistle in the cab uh, some people might think that gets annoying but for me I hardly use the radio anymore it's just all turbo noise uh, yeah all right well I will um, conclude this video and then I'll also put another uh, video I have with it running underneath a, an airport a bridge at an airport and then also a towing video so if you guys enjoy I also wanted to say that um, the engine and transmission is completely stock as far as no head studs no injection pump no uh, injectors no nothing fuel related has been added to the truck um, transmission is still 100% stock so at this point the trans uh, doesn't seem to mind it too much um, it wants to shift and lock up a little funny when you're wide open but I think they have it tuned like that to try to save the trans um, but for the most part it runs super strong for just adding a second turbo. So here we are towing uh, about 13,000 pounds of rye seed on the trailer with the compound turbo setup. See if I can get this situated so you can see everything. About to pull a 
Mountain on 233 coming into Newville from Perry County. I have it in manual mode, fourth gear. No problem holding 60 mile an hour. Only about 40% throttle. This is a 8% grade that goes on for two and a half miles. Exhaust temps aren't even to a thousand yet. About right at 40 pounds of boost. It's the most the stock MAF sensor can read. Just now at a thousand. Stuck behind a, another truck here. About 16, 1700 RPMs right now. A little over 40 mile an hour. Exhaust temps still under 1200. Oil temperatures 225, coolant temps 219, trans temps 209. All my temps are running way cooler than uh, without before I was uh, added this turbo. I usually drop it down here to second gear and we'll see if the exhaust brake can hold back. Seems to hold back harder with this turbo on here than it did when it was stock. It's holding me about 35 mile an hour not touch the brakes yet.
right here is the first time I have to hit the brakes on this hairpin turn. Watching them again right there. Back in the throttle a little bit. This setup just, I mean, this is the, the biggest load I've pulled so far, but it is a world of a difference over stock. I'm running uh, the third tune right now out of four. I think this is more of a street tune. So uh, I did notice the transmission do a chirp on the three to four shift, which I know these things are noted for. So time will tell how long the trans is gonna take this. If it goes, I will probably wind up going with a Rev Max, as I have one in my, my Cummins at home, 2013. Been very pleased with it. Well, that's pretty much off the mountain, so hope you guys enjoyed.